everyone, Letty here. Today, I'm gonna share with you the items that I made for a unicorn themed uh, goodie bag, basically for a small party of four. I made five handmade favors to go in each goodie bag. Um, again, I was asked by somebody to make some some crafts that they could use as, as kind of favors or goodies for each of the attendees that are gonna be at that party. It's a very small party. Um, so this is what I made. So the first thing that I made was a wand and I used a couple of different rosettes that I made and I layered on a doily and some other circles and I added ribbon and I used a straw um, just to make a really cute, you know, just wand. Then I also made a personalized book bookmarker folio. Um, and so on these, I did add each of the attendees names on them. I laminated the bookmarks, included their names. Um, so this is something that they can actually take away after the party uh, and still have, you know, to use afterwards. So you can see here, I kind of have their name on, on this specific, uh, you know, item. So that was the second item that I made for each of the girls that were going to be attending this party. The third thing is this notepad wallet. So this is inspired by a crafter here on YouTube. Her name is Lyric Lover Crafts. Her name is Amber. Um, the one thing that I did different was I used a Velcro dot and she normally uses a, or in her tutorial, she does a belly band. I figured for the younger girls, a little Velcro would be easier. Um, then I did a three, a three count card kit. So there's enough items in here to make three different cards with sentiments and stickers and jemmies and everything um, for three cards for, you know, for the girl who's gonna be getting this little set. So, and it's all unicorn themes, including the sentiments. Then the last thing that I made was a mini album flip. So. This actually is gonna be kind of neat for them because I included some stickers and some little dots and some embellishments and cut aparts and die cuts. So that way they could decorate the tag flip itself or the, the mini album flip, I mean. Um, and so here's the actual flip itself, the album. They can just add whatever decorations they want. They can add pictures, they can add some little text, um, whatever they want. And I did make every every all of the girls' items that pretty much exactly the same or very, very close to being the same. But I thought that would be something, again, that they could take with them after the party and be able to kind of have as like a memory or a memento from the party itself. So those were the five items that I made. Um, then this is the actual bag itself. I did personalize them with the, you know, like a monogram of each of the girls' names. You can see there they have, you know, the different uh, wands. So each of the four girls is going to get their own bag with the same five items. You see here, this is a slightly different uh, wand. I basically use the opposite colors. So the blue paper on the outside and the pink paper on the inside. And here's the fourth one. And so that one again has the blue paper on the outside as the bigger rosette and the pink striped as a smaller rosette. So these were the items. Um, and then some of the supplies I used were this one Chasing Rainbows paper pad by First Edition. I bought this at Joann's. I did end up using the entire paper pad, um, which is which was kind of nice. Um, so I, I was able to smash that small paper pad. Um, and then I did use these holographic doilies for the wands and I got those from Michaels, but I don't know that they sell them anymore. And then I did get use this holographic paper that I found at Joann's by DCWV. And then these were actually some uh, items in the teaching section that I found at Dollar Tree. I had pulled them a while back and I thought they would be great to make like some really large cards. I ended up using them as like kind of the tag, the front, you know, decoration on each of the bags. And then I used these holographic letters that I found at Hobby Lobby on clearance they're supposed to be used like for banners well I use them to kind of you know monogram the front of the the bags to make them more personalized and then I did use a few sheets out of the Echo Park imagine that um, this specific one is like the girl version of it you can see here I'm pointing to some of the papers that I used and those were actually the papers that I used to make the rosettes because I the other Chasing Rainbows paper pad was very small. It was like a six by six or six by six and a half, something like that. Um, so it was going to be a lot harder to make those big rosettes. So I just went ahead and used a few sheets from the other pad. And then I did use my final scraps to make these four card fronts. I haven't decided yet. I might just put them on cards and throw them in the bags for the girls. Um, but again, here's what I made. You can definitely make some of these items yourself as well for the next party. Thanks for visiting. Hope you subscribe, like this video, and follow me on Instagram. Thanks. Bye-bye.